Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Today we are going to work on Surah Al-Masad, Surah 111. It's made of five ayat. The meaning of Al-Masad is twisted strands. Surah Al-Masad is one of the very first surahs uh, revealed in the city of Mecca in response to Abu Lahab and his wife. Both had the worst behavior towards the messenger of God, peace and blessing of God be upon him, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So this surah is also called Surat Al-Lahab in reference to the main character who is quoted in the first verse. Abu Lahab. Abu Lahab was the Prophet وسلم, uncle. He was his paternal uncle, but also one of the worst opponents of Islam. It, basically, the surah talks about the punishment of Abu Lahab and his wife that will suffer in hell. His real name was Abdul Usa, Abdul Muttalib. His nickname was Abu Lahab. Because Abu Lahab means father of the flame. The reason he received his nickname, because of the punishment which will consume him on the day of judgment. So according to Muslim traditions, Sidna Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had a very good relationship with him before his prophetic mission of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Abu Lahab would be a notable uh, who feared that the message and the reforms of Sidna Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam would only break the religious and social and the economic stability of Mecca. So it's said that he used to throw stones at Sidna Muhammad and he used to curse him. Uh, so whenever Sidna Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam went to fulfill his mission and convey Allah message. Uh, the Abu Lahab used to, he basically, the man used all means to prevent people from listening to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam began to invite people to believe in God and to convert to Islam, Abu Lahab said, if what my nephew says is true, the day of resurrection, I will give in ransom my fortune and my offsprings to avoid the punishment and that's believed that at this time God sent down this, the, the verse of the surah neither his fortune nor what he acquired will benefit him um, as far as Abu Lahab's wife she was among also the nobles of Quraysh. She supported her husband in his denial and his disbelief. Abu Lahab's wife had promised to spend on Sidna Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam a beautiful necklace she used to wear. Uh, and it, it is for this reason that the last verse was revealed in which God promises to put in place of her necklace a uh, cord of fibers for all the pain and the punishment. Later we will know that, that Abu Lahab died in the battle of Badr and never converted to Islam. So that's the small story of uh, Surat al-Masad. Now we're going to read it uh, in Arabic and translate it word by word and try to understand the meaning of each ayah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Tabbat yada Abi Lahabin Watab. May the hands of Abu Lahab be ruined and ruined is he. Basically, this is about the fact that he will be punished after what he said and what he made our Prophet وسلم, suffer. Basically, in this verse, we see that the hands of Abu Lahab, um, with all his actions, has sunk into bewilderment and his loss has come true. ما أغنى عنه ماله وما كسب. His wealth will not avail him or that which he gained. The second verse, his fortune is of no use to him 
nor what he has acquired. This means nothing will serve him. As I told you before, when the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi uh, called his people to believe in God, it is reported that Abu Lahab said, if what my nephew says is true on the day of resurrection, I will ransom my fortune and my offspring to avoid the punishment. And this is why this verse is important because it just states that his fortune is of no use nor are his offsprings. Sayasla naran datalahab. He will burn in a fire of flame. The third verse is quite simple. It will burn with a fire of sparks. It will burn with a fire full of sparks, uh, with a very burning fire. Wamra'atuhu hamalatul hatab. And his wife also bearing wood. The fourth verse, likewise, his wife the carrier of wood. She will serve as a helper in the punishment of her husband. She will bring wood and throw it into the fire to candle it. Because she was a big support for her husband Abu Lahab in his denial and his stubbornness. <laughs> Having on her neck a rope of twisted strands. She was slandering the Prophet. She was throwing uh, stones in the way of, of the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is why God will instead put a rope of fiber around her uh, collar. Basically, the, scars, the scholars think that uh, Surat Al-Masad talk about Abu Lahab and how he will burn with a fire of sparks to which his wife will bring wood. And it's quite interesting because a lot of uh, the family of the Prophet Wasallam converted at the end, even when they didn't believe in the beginning, they converted to Islam. But in this case, the Abu Lahab and his wife never converted. So they basically died in disbelief. So I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions or any um, comments, please let me know. And I wish you well and I wish you a very good day. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.